The US stock market is booming, driven by a boom in AI tech investment. Gangbusters, not necessarily a phrase we'd use to describe the UK economy, but certainly something we can describe equity markets this year. New highs in the US continue to be driven by NVIDIA, the tech name which is up over 200% this year, driving a near 20% return in the Nasdaq. And that tide is floating all boats in the US markets and is also reaching into places like Europe. It's been very good for portfolios this year and it shows the strength in being internationally invested for our clients. And underlying economic growth is robust as well. The main thrust we're seeing is this continued fall in inflation, as described by my colleague George Bell yesterday, with regards to UK CPI. But more importantly, away from headline CPI, the decline in core inflation pressures is fundamental. UK core inflation has now caught down to US core inflation, such that both figures are somewhere just above three. If the trend continues, we should be below 3% core inflation globally by the end of the year. Hopefully policymakers can acknowledge this. This means that interest rates really are too high for where we are in the economic cycle. In fact, interest rates should be much lower by the end of the year if policymakers truly are forward looking. One such example of that would be that quarter two, that is the current quarter inflation, for the UK will average around 2.2%. However, this time last year, the Bank of England expected it to be 3.5%. And their forecast before that was 1%. So they're very much forecasting in the dark, whilst the economy continues to trundle along, but inflation continues to decline substantially. And it's important policymakers, not just in the UK, but in the US and the Europe, get ahead of this disinflation trend and adjust interest rates appropriately well in advance of us getting back to 2% inflation and underlying price pressures. Because if they wait too long, then it may just be a recession, that is the outcome, not stable inflation around target. And that is what we believe the stock market is telling us, that the backdrop today is strong, is good, and is recognising strong aggregate demand helped by full employment. However, policymakers shouldn't do this by keeping interest rates too high for too long to simply undo all of the heavy work that's been done since the post-COVID headwinds have largely faded. So that's all for today, but please join us tomorrow for a Week in Markets review where we'll focus a little bit more on the UK, especially today's Bank of England announcement at 12 o'clock, where they're unlikely to lower interest rates, but are likely to give a more upbeat assessment of the path of future inflation. Thank you.